On the Tri 24 7 interview lounge at the TCR show once again. Very pleased to be joined by Corinne Abraham. Uh, Corinne may be a new name to some of you out there, but she had a fantastic debut season in triathlon last, last year. Um, third place overall, your very first Ironman in, in Germany at uh, Regensburg. So, uh, where the hell did you come from, Corinne? Um, well, I've always uh, done a lot of sport. I've got a background in uh, doing judo as a junior. Um, and then after that, I've always sort of done university sports and sort of running throughout the years. Um, in 2009, myself and uh, three colleagues, we went and did Race Across America. Um, that was my first sort of foray into cycling. Um, and then I went to watch my boyfriend Rob do Ironman Zurich. And from there, I sort of thought, oh, I quite fancy go at an Ironman. Um, and entered into Regensburg and started training for it specifically and, and yeah, did, did, did what I did. So yeah, I was very pleased with uh, my progression in the sport really. Um, so before that race, did you have any idea of the sort of performance that you, you might be able to produce or time or, or anything or did that completely surprise you, the fact that you were able to finish third overall and this was, this was racing as an age grouper uh, and, and third, yeah, third overall in the race, not just within your age group. Um, was that a, a complete shock or did the finish time, was that sort of of the order that you felt, um, maybe even optimistically or whatever, but you felt, yeah, that you could do that beforehand? Um, well, Regensburg was uh, the first time that they'd run that event, so there wasn't any sort of history of times or anything that we could go on. Um, obviously, in my own training, I'd, uh, I'd done sort of build-up races, sportifs and half marathons, and I'd done uh, Big Cow, um, half Ironman as well. Um, so we had an idea of where my training was. Um, I'd never done the full distance um, before, so I didn't know how I was going to shape up in the actual race. Um, but we did go there with target times for, for the swim, the bike and the run. And my target time was 9.41, and I delivered 9.41, so I was very pleased with that, yeah. Um, so as you're talking there, first r real experience of cycling was a race across America. Um, that's a, a fairly big uh, step to go into. So, um, you know, most people first experience, you know, maybe they join a cycling club and do a time trial, or maybe they get motivated to do the adapted tour or something along the lines of that. So race across America, how do you sort of fall into that one? Because um, it takes quite an effort to fall into a race like that. Um, I think I was very lucky in that my parents brought me up with a just go and do it kind of an attitude. Things don't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be a, a massive sort of, uh, you know, you don't have to train for years for these things. You can you can actually just go and do them um, provided you do some preparation. Um, and myself and uh, three colleagues were sat around at lunch and we'd seen a documentary the evening before. And we were sort of saying, oh, did you see that documentary? And yeah, yeah, I saw it. Yeah, wouldn't it be a great experience to go and do something like that? So, yeah, yeah, we should go and do it. Um, and, and literally like a month later we decided to enter and uh, paid our entry fee and literally just, just started training. We, all, all of us just sort of had the mentality of well yes it's a long way but there's a team of you and you, you do it between yourselves, you support each other and uh, you, you just have to go and ride your bike for a very long time. So. And, and beforehand, we were talking uh, your background. Uh, you've been a well, a, you're a sports scientist by, by training. You've worked as a lecturer at St Mary's uh, College, now right in Twickenham. Um, so, you know, obviously, I, I imagine you've got a, a pretty scientific approach to your training, you're trying to make the, the best of your time. Um, you know, you come into the sport, you know, maybe a little bit later than most pro athletes, haven't even got the, you know, a, a long age group background so um, tell us a bit about your training how you approach that and and how you use that that knowledge um, to, to help you uh, you know achieve these results so quickly um, well initially um, it I know that I'm, I'm, I'm late coming into the sport. There are people who've been doing the sport and been racing for the last sort of, you know, five, eight, ten years. Um, and really what, what I try and do, or what myself and my team try and, try and do, is make sure that we don't make the mistakes that other people have made. So we try and learn from other people's mistakes. Um, and also very much draw on the experience of, of people around me. So, so speaking to other people who have, have done the sport before and learning from their mistakes. Um, as you said, I, I worked in sports science. I was a lecturer at St Mary's University. Um, and there's a very, very strong knowledge base there in terms of uh, physiology and nutrition and sports psychology and sports science support. And, and they are one of my key partners in supporting me to make sure that my training is, is as effective as it can be and that all the effort and energy that I'm putting into my training is, is geared towards my performance as a triathlete. There's, there's no wasted sessions. Um, the sessions are at the right intensity, at the right speed, um, and that I'm getting the most out of the time that I put on the bike and the swimming and the running. So. 
Um, so looking at those three disciplines, what are your, your relative strengths, weaknesses across the board? You know, without that background, are you, you know, fairly even at all of them or is there a particular, particular strength or, or area that you're looking to, to develop to, to help you, you progress uh, racing this year as a, as a pro within the Ironman rankings? Um, at the moment, I'm, I'm still very much at the stage where I'm developing very quickly. I'm seeing huge sort of leaps and gains in, in all three disciplines. So from, from a training perspective and from an athlete perspective, it's, it's fantastic to see those kinds of gains. It's very rewarding. Um, I know that's not going to last yeah. forever, um, but I'm making the most of it and enjoying it while I can. I'm also at the stage where um, I'm, sort of, I'm not technically competent in any three, so in, in any of them, having not got a background as a runner or a swimmer or a cyclist. So um, again, I'm learning from people around me who, who do have that experience and knowledge um, and making sure that I, I don't you know I, I'm I become the most efficient runner that I can be I, I, I learn to swim correctly so I'm not wasting time in the pool I'm becoming the most effective swimmer that I can be um, so so like I say I'm making great leaps and bounds in terms of my technique um, and obviously that's then having a knock-on effect on my times as well um, I would say probably that I'm Running is my strongest at the moment, um, and I, you know, I, I absolutely love running. I've, I've just done working in path this morning, and just had a really, you know, I just, I just really enjoy the experience of running. Um, swimming, I'm, you know, I'm loving learning new tech, that, you know, the techniques of swimming because I've never done that before. Um, so yeah, just enjoying all three um, and finding the learning process um, a very rewarding part of the training as well. Yeah. Um, so 2011, uh, completely new this year. You're going to be racing as a as a pro. Uh, just tell us a little bit about the the races that you're going to be doing, and you know what your your hopes and expectations are. If you look back, you know this time next year, what is it that you you hope to have achieved? Uh, well, definitely, I hope to have two strong races, two two good races. Um, I went to Regensburg with a target time, and I was able to deliver that, so that was that was very rewarding. And um, I hope that I will be able to do that again in Texas. And my other race, main race for this year, is Ironman Wales. Um, I selected those two races, um, sort of for where they are in the calendar year, partly. Um, again, I'm I'm, a, I'm new to the sport. I don't have years of endurance um, sort of built up, um, and so I need to be careful that I'm selecting races. Um, that uh, that reflect my ability as an athlete, um, but also that I'm not over racing this year. Um, I don't, like I say, I don't have that depth of endurance in me. Um, so they were they were well spaced in the calendar year. Um, Texas is quite a flat, undulating course, and Wales, of course, is is quite different. It's going to be quite a hilly course. Um, I'm Welsh. I'm from Wales, and so that was a a draw to to, to doing the the Ironman Wales event. Yep. And although it, although the timing of it, it was very close to Challenge Henley and Challenge Henley is very close to me here in, in Maidenhead. Um, the draw of racing in Wales um, sort of encouraged me to enter that event. Um, also, I'm looking towards um, racing again in Hawaii for 2012. Um, so Ironman Wales is a points race um, in the WTC system. So hopefully I'll be able to, to get on the points then for get on the points calendar for 2012 in Hawaii. Well, we wish you uh, all the best with that. Very brave decision uh, to, to race as a pro, to come in and, you know, you've had a fantastic start to your triathlon career. Uh, really do hope that uh, all of that knowledge that you've got can help you, uh, you know, make that, that short circuit, if you like, to, to get where you want to very quickly. Obviously, we've, we've got a bit of a role model at the, the very top of British triathlon at the moment who has proved that uh, that, that, is, that is quite feasible. So, uh, everybody out there, uh, this is, as we say, Corinne Abraham, look out for the name. Uh, had a fantastic year last year and uh, fingers crossed 2011 will be an even better one.